let's take a look at uh, the T olive property. We're going to take a look at the 3D model real quick. Quick walk through, here's the front elevation. Here is the right elevation. Rear. And left. Here's an overhead view of it. And we're gonna have metal on this front porch. This dormer, as well as the back porch. Metal's gonna be around 12 and a half squares. We're gonna have shingle on the remainder, with the exception of two slopes. Actually, three. One being this 212 section here. The other being this 212 section here. Kind of goes out to here where you can see it'll run into that other slope. And also, sorry about that. Let's see. Still learning how to use it. Also down in here. That wall's pretty straight. These shingles die straight into it. So we'll end up doing some uh, rolled roof or modified down in there. And for the rolled roof, we have it around three squares and the shingles at 55 square. So if you're drying, you're gonna have GAF Storm Guard, a non-granulated high temp peel and stick on the front porch, metal roof, back porch here as well, metal. Non-granulated high temp, keep the panels from burning, keep scratches off the panels long term. Um, all that will be run up the wall six inches, valleys will be lined with it, we'll leave an inch and a half overhang at the eaves for your fascia. For the shingle roof, your rolled roof base, so your modified base, we're going to have it in this section. Probably run up about two foot up this slope, then run up the wall. We're going to have it on this little section over here as well, also run up the wall. And then the top section as well, which actually stretches out to about here. You'll see once you look at the actual uh, roof takeoff. You also have the option to add metal here if you'd like. The rest of the roof will be dried in with GAF deck armor, breathable synthetic felt. Uh, this is a premium underlayment. It's designed for spray foamed attics. Um, so if you require a substitute or not interested in that product, let us know. That should take care of the dry-in. You will have one trip return for penetrations. So once your plumber and HVAC subs put their penetration through, we'll come back out, put some peel and stick behind the pipes and around them. Shingle will be your next phase. This is all lap siding. So have your siding contractor leave the lap siding two inches off the roof deck. Anywhere there's a corner post, leave that loose so we can slide our flashing to do a kick out there. So you'll have your step flashing along these walls, sides of here, we'll have our head wall here. Same thing on this side, step and head wall along all shingle roof slopes. Again, two inches off the roof deck for all lap siding. It's a small amount of brick on this chimney up top. So we figured you probably aren't going to end up uh, doing the brick post shingle. So if that's the case, once we come out, we'll leave large kickouts up top and on the bottom. Make sure the brick guys don't cut them off. Make sure they don't cut our flashing. And then we'll add the decorative counter flashing at the end when we install the metal roofs. Uh, metal roofs will be done post paint and post brick. So that'll be our last trip out. All flashings related to the shingles will be black. And that should take care of it.